That shooting has Dick's Sporting Goods taking a harder line against guns on the National Rifle Association. The Sporting Goods chain says it will immediately stop selling assault-style rifles and ban the sale of all guns to anyone under 21. And just moments ago, Walmart announced it will no longer sell firearms and ammunition to people younger than 21. With that announcement from Dix, tonight Five on Your Side is asking a local ER doctor about the difference between wounds from an assault-style rifle and handguns. So can a life be saved if you're shot with an assault-style rifle? Would the doctors rather deal with a handgun wound? Five on Your Side's Daniel Wynn spent the afternoon in one of the busiest ERs in the city finding out the answer. Daniel? Yeah, guys, St. Louis University sees shootings all the time. Most are not from assault rifles. Most are from handguns. I spent the afternoon with one doctor who has served in Iraq and seen the destruction that assault rifles can make happen. He tells me getting shot by one can be a real game changer. Uh, low velocity is classically your pistols. Your high velocity is classically your rifles. And that means the higher the speed, the more damage the bullet will do. Dr. Carl Freeman is a St. Louis University emergency room doctor. He sees everything from the flu to gunshot wounds here in his ER. He tells me the hardest wounds to deal with are from assault style rifles. Is it something you see a lot of? We don't see a lot of them here at this uh, city. Uh, I've seen a lot in the past uh, being associated with the military. Dr. Freeman spent time in Iraq, far from the emergency room we found him in today. He believes St. Louis primarily sees handgun wounds because handguns are likely easier to come by. In the military, the wounds are usually larger. They have a significant amount of uh, tissue damage compared to uh, handgun wounds. He tells me scenes like Parkland are hard to take. He says even medical professionals like him don't expect to see wounds like that when they're far from the battlefield. I think of the, uh, the casualties that occur, the suffering that uh, the patients go through from these injuries. And while the debate over assault rifles rages on, Dr. Freeman will continue saving lives, but the harsh reality is... You get used to it. I wouldn't say it keeps me up at night anymore, um, but you do get used to it. Unfortunately. And one of the most surprising parts of the interview was he told me a deer rifle actually does more damage than an AR 15. I also asked him to put uh, kind of a ballpark estimate uh, out there for me about how many assault rifle victims they see. He said it's usually about uh, one in maybe every 20. Unfortunately, though, the rest are from handguns, which can be just at least <coughs> as lethal. Reporting live in South County, Daniel Wynn. Live on your side.